Compared to Facebook's native automated rules, you can create an automated rule to check a different time period in each condition versus one time period for the entire automated rule. And with custom timeframes, you can get even more control and flexibility to get your rules just right. Similar to custom metrics, we can create and use custom timeframes in the same way. I'll show you how it works. Go to the custom values page, click the timeframes tab at the top, and click the button to create a new custom timeframe. You have two units of time to work with, days and hours. And then you can use a timeline slider to create the exact time period you need. For example, you might already be familiar with the standard today and yesterday time period. With custom timeframes, I can create a time frame for the two days before today and yesterday, like this. And call it two to three days ago. So with this time frame, I could create a condition that compares the ROAS of today and yesterday to the ROAS of two to three days ago and execute an action based on whether ROAS has grown or fallen. And I can also create the same kind of time frame using hours. I can drag the points on the timeline in the hours tab to select from three to six hours ago, which I can use to compare the growth or decline of a metric in the last three hours to the three hours prior. Let's see how we can use a custom time frame, custom metric, and metric comparison in a new automated rule to notify us when there's a drop in conversion rate. I'll name this rule 75% drop in conversion rate, apply it to all ad sets with active delivery, and ad status is active, and choose notify once a day as the action. For the initial metric, I'll choose my custom conversion rate metric, today and yesterday for the time period, less than, change the condition to a metric comparison condition, set it to 0.75 times, choose my custom conversion rate metric again, and then choose my custom two to three days ago timeframe. This is a great automated rule to show exactly how customizable and flexible conditions in Revealbot can be. This rule is saying to notify us if our conversion rate today and yesterday is less than 75% of the conversion rate two to three days ago, or in other words, dropped by 25%. And just to make sure this is really an active ad set, I'll add two more conditions to confirm the ad set is spending budget in both of my selected timeframes by adding spend, today and yesterday, is greater than, say $10, and spend, two to three days ago, is also greater than $10. Then I'll set up my notification so I can actually be notified of a drop in conversion rate and set it live. As you can see, with custom timeframes, custom metrics, and metric comparison, you can create pretty much any rule you can think of. And in the next lesson, we'll go through one more final advanced way to create conditions, and that's ranking comparison. See you in the next one.